Hello YouTube. I'm going to read something. <clears throat> this is the I have a list of the 45 declared goals of the communist takeover of America. Of America. It is a um it was read into the congressional record on January 10th, 1963 by guy named Herlong Let's see, A. S. Herlong Jr. of Florida in the House of Representatives, Thursday, January 10th, 1963. That's who read it into the congressional record. You can go online and look up the Communist Takeover America, 45 Declared Goals, and read all of them yourself. I'm going to read just some of them, and then I'm going to talk about something. The, um, let's say I'm going to write something down so I don't forget it. Okay. Here's some of these 45 declared goals for the communist takeover of America. The U.S. acceptance of coexistence with communist countries as the only alternative to nuclear war. Permit free trade between all nations regardless of communist affiliation. Remember China, hugest communist country in the world. Regardless of whether or not items could be used for war. Here's another one. Provide American aid to all nations regardless of communist uh, domination. Number seven is grant recognition of red China. That's what they used to call China, was red China. Grant recognition of red China admission of red China to the United Nations. Man, it's in there. They did it. Number eleven. Promote the UN as the only hope for mankind. If its charter is rewritten, demand that it be set up as one world government with its own independent armed forces. Some communist leaders believe the world can be taken over as easily by the UN as by Moscow. Sometimes these two centers compete with each other, as they are now doing in the Congo. Number fifteen. Capture one or both of the political parties, the United, uh, the United States. Yeah, you know, think about what's going on with socialism and Democratic Party, and a lot of stuff going on in the Republican Party that's promoting the one worldism. Number sixteen: Use technical decisions of the courts to weaken basic American institutions like marriage by claiming their activities violate civil rights. That's what they've been doing with homosexual marriage, saying it violates their civil rights. Number 17, get control of the schools, use them as transmission belts for socialism and current communist propaganda. Do you know in the universities, universities of the United States of America, there is communism taught constantly in just about every area. Number 20, infiltrate the press, get control of book review assignments, editorial writing, policy making positions. Number 26. Okay, number 25, break down cultural standards of morality by promoting pornography and obscenity in books, magazines, motion pictures, radio, and TV. Boy, tell me that hadn't happened. Number 26, present homosexuality, degeneracy, and promiscuity as normal, natural, and healthy. I mean, they're even letting homosexuals get married. Number 32, support any socialist movement to give centralized control over any part of the culture, education, social services, welfare, welfare programs, mental health clinics, etc. They've got the medical. That is about one-third of the entire American economy that they have, will have centralized control over now. Number 34, eliminate the House Committee on Un-American Activities, and it's gone. It doesn't exist anymore. Transfer uh, some of the powers of arrest from the police to social agencies. Treat all behavioral problems as psychiatric disorders like attention deficit disorder. When all it is is the kid's a brat and needs a spanking. Treat all behavioral problems as psychiatric disorders which no one but psychiatrists can understand or treat. <clears throat> Discredit the family as an institution, encourage, encourage promiscuity and easy divorce. Number 43, um, overthrow all colonial governments before native populations are ready for self-government. We'll see what happens with Afghanistan. 
Okay, Iraq wasn't ready. Afghanistan probably won't be either. But anyway, these are some of the goals. They want to do 45. 45 of them. I have another list in another book I have that was talking about that. Controlling guns. They want to control guns and get rid of guns out of American uh, civilian hands. Okay. Now something I wanted to talk about, the reason I'm doing this, is because today on CNN, they talked about this a while ago, the Boy Scouts of America are thinking about changing their policy on homosexuality and allowing local troop troops to decide whether they're going to allow homosexuals or not. Now, what's actually happening, this is a spiritual war between God and Satan, good and evil. And if you noticed, they use two terms, a term to describe heterosexuals and a term to describe homosexuals. But if you notice something, they call heterosexuals straight. Homosexuals, they call them gay. Why don't they call the heterosexual straight and the homosexual crooked? Why don't they say that? Because crooked sounds like it's bad. That's why. Now, in Matthew chapter 7, verse 13, this is Jesus Christ talking. He says, Enter you in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many there be which go in. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leads into life, and few there be that find it. Jesus said the way to heaven is a straight way, a straight gate. And narrow is the way. The homosexual should be called crooked, not gay. And where the word gay came from was they used to call, call them sodomites. Talking about Sodom and Gomorrah. And they called them sodomites. And a whole bunch of sodomites decided they didn't like being called that. So they started promoting the word homosexual. With homo means same. Same sexual. That's what it means. And then the word homosexual started getting <clears throat> a bad reputation, so they changed it to the word gay. Now think about it. What's the word gay have anything to do with sexual perversion? Absolutely nothing. But it sounds better to, to them than homosexual or a sodomite. <clears throat> so heterosexual is called straight. And the homosexual, they want to call them gay. The reality is, God said homosexuals and anybody that is sexually immoral as a lifestyle, this includes fornication, this includes adultery, any kind of sexual sin that is practiced as a lifestyle means that you are not living for God. And it means that eventually you will die and you will go to the lake of fire. And a wide way leads to destruction. I was going to look up a verse. <clears throat> but if you commit sin as a lifestyle, whether it's sodomy and you're a sodomite, or whether you're a fornicator, or whether you're a habitual liar, or a thief, or a murderer, or a swindler, or even outbursts of anger, according to the Bible. If you hate your brother for no reason, God looks at that as the same as murder. Straight is the way, and narrow is the gate that leads to God. The only way to God, Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. He is the narrow gate. He is the straight way. If you don't repent of your sins, including sexual sin, you will end up going to hell. 
Now the 45 declared goals of communism, it's not really a communist problem. It's not a liberal media problem. It's not a deception problem. What it real, really is, America has turned from God and it is a moral, spiritual problem. The real solution is for everybody as an individual to turn to God, turn away from sin, because sin is going to destroy this country of the United States of America. God bless you.